Alrighty then, it's time to make an update on the games I just got. But all these N64 games, I have these, and uh, I don't know if I forgot them in the video, but I'm going to show them all. But anyway, on to the new games I got. I got a bunch of new games, and, well, I'm going to explain to you what they are. First, Turok Dinosaur Hunter. Only $8. Great game. Dr. Robotnik's Green Mean Bean Machine. I played on Sonic J um, Mega Collection Plus. It's pretty fun, but it's kind of hard at the same time. Got so I got a CD game here. Pitfall, the Mayan Adventure. I don't know if it's any good or not. Power Stone on the Dreamcast. Uh, let me let me check my bill here. Hmm. It was only wow, twenty dollars. This is actually a damn good deal. What else we got here? We got a green, another Dreamcast. This was only 20 bucks too. Stupid Invaders, the epic adventure of five incredibly stupid aliens. Everyone's just a fun um, point and click game, so I decided, what the hell, I'll get this. Got a PS1 game. The the um, Bombing Islands. This is supposed, this is a um, Kid Clown game, if you don't know who he is. Check out Lewis's videos about him. There's only two videos about him, though. Now, here's a game which is pretty weird looking, but it's cool actually, from what people say. Martian Gothic Unification, eight dollars. It looks like it's a. It, some people say it's a good game. Some people say it's not. The twist in this game is that you can't kill your enemies. You only knock them out. So that's kind of weird. But what the hell? We just gotta add something different to this to the mix for games. Got Super Mario Brothers two. Probably I think this is fifteen bucks. Here we go. Uh, we got Excite Bike, ten dollars. Then we got the one and only Tengen game, Pac-Man for the NES. Ten dollars, great deal, and it's a po and it's people would say it's it's really exactly a replica of um the original Pac-Man. So can't wait to play this. What's that say? Huh. And got a nice Nintendo game, um H H V G N, Lafaggio. Um, Lafagello, or I can't pronounce his name right, but he's the, a happy video game nerd. Read it, I thought, what the hell, I'll get this because he's awesome. And he said it's a great game. Nightshade. Nightshade rocks, is what he said. And, um, I got an Xbox game here. Max Payne, $6. And they're already, on, they're in the making of Max Payne the movie, which I'm happy about. Now, they don't, if they don't screw it up, that's nice. And also, one more thing. One thing I'm really happy about, Yui Bowl's not directing that movie. It's going to be someone else, and I forgot who it is, but, yeah. We got a nice, awesome thing here. I bought this $15. It's not a game. It's some cards. $15. It was originally $2.50 back then. Mortal Kombat card game. 15 card booster packs. Uh, that sounds pretty cool, and it's pretty heavy, too. I mean, damn, it's heavy. Like, if you were here right now and feel how heavy this thing is, it's like, whoa. You got a, a four score. That means it was eight bucks. That means for the Nintendo, you can have up to four people playing. So that's nice. I got that. Hmm. It's a weird cord. And this one, they decided to just throw it in for free. That was pretty nice one because I'm one of the big customers. At Gamer's Garage. It's a mega memory card for the Dreamcast. It was supposed to be $4, but oh well. What the hell? And last but not least, I got a Dreamcast controller. Mm hmm. Pretty good. Can't wait to use it. That means I have two ports done. Can't wait for the Max Payne movie. It's unconfirmed yet, and it's release date. I don't know if it was confirmed yet. But it was confirmed they are making that Max Payne movie. Alright, here's my Nintendo 64 games I have, excluding Turok and uh, Dinosaur Hunter, for what I just bought today. Mario Kart 64, Mario Party, Mario Party 2. I think, I, I don't think I showed everybody all my N64 games, but I'll show them anyway. Mario Tennis, Paper Mario, Perfect Dark, Pokemon Snap, Quest 64, South Park, Star Wars Episode 1 Racer, Super Mario 64, great game. Super Smash Bros., awesome game. And Turok 2, Seeds of Evil, not that bad of a game. And, um, I will, you know what I'm going to do? Since Spax and, hell, AVGN talked about it, I'm going to put end labels. I don't care what people say, I'm going to put end labels on my games. 
So let's really put stacks so I don't have to worry. Because I put them all up against this little part of a wall here, and, you know, it's kind of hard to see all of them. But, yeah. Well, I kind of twisted the camera, but oh well. Anyway, um, see you guys later. This is SJ, signing out. And if you want any of those games to get reviewed, just send me a message or a request. So, yep. See you later. SJ out.